Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend InsideXO. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to talk about how I made that uh, game that you just uh, you just uh, saw. I found that game development is very difficult, especially when you have no experience. You you have to go through a lot of problems, and you you're gonna try your best to find solutions uh, for those questions. But anyway, I made it. Now I will try to do my best to describe what I have done for making that uh, simple game for you guys. First, uh, we go to app delegate.cpp file because in here, uh, this is what I have done to change the window size of our game to 800 and 600 sizes. Okay. And then after I change the window size, I go to the Hello World Scene.h file because the header is very important if you want to use some global uh, variables. For example, the best, uh, the most important part of my code is the uh, my spirit. I have I have to define a global variable to uh, to save the spirit to save that ball image so I can. Uh, do some changes to that bow. So it is defined here as a public uh, property. Then I also have to define the event function because uh, uh, this is a function the game engine will be used to do something when I move my mouse. And this, to be specific, this function is called on mouse move. Okay, this is the header file. Then let's go to the CPP file. In the CPP file, first we have to define the on mouse move uh, function, this event function. It will give us the event. What we can get from the event is first we can uh, do some cast to make it a event mouse. This is an object. From the event mouse, we can get the location and the, to be specific, the x coordinate or the y coordinate. And with the x and y coordinate, we can uh, move or spare it by using the two line of code. Uh, first, we create an action move to, then we say my spare that's wrong action move to the x and y coordinates. Uh, but here, one thing you have to notice that is that I did some change to the y coordinates because uh, when I make this game, I found that uh, the, the coordinate system between the mouse uh, location and the the move to function they are totally different uh, at the y y stuff. So I here I used uh, uh, an absolute function to to make this change. I hope you understand that. If you don't, you can do some change about it and say what will going on. Okay, this is the mouse event. Then after that, at the initiate uh, uh, function. At the initialize function, first I did something like this. First, I create my spirit, my spirit object. Then I gave it to the global variable. My spirit is a global variable. Remember that. Then I did a scale to make it to make that ball smaller. Um, then here's the important part. I just created a mouse listener. It's a event that um, the game engine provided. Then we say mouse listener on mouse move equal to a callback function. What is that function? It is called hello world on mouse move. Why we have to use hello world as a prefix because uh, this because on mouse move, this is a sub function that we defined at the uh, game class object. Okay, then after that, Here's another line of code. Uh, it is very important. We have to distribute this uh, event listener. So actually, what this line does is to make it uh, take effect, OK? Uh, start to listen on my movements. So now, if I uh, compile this game, and you would say the ball will generally go with my mouse. Uh, but it is not so good because it will um, uh, slide. Uh, it's kind of weird when you move your mouse too fast. Uh, but if you move it generally slowly, it will be fine. At least it, it is the right result. And we can even do more. Okay, let me show this. 
First, we make the movement at the mouse uh, event. We we command it out. Then let's try to use an uh, let's try to make another listener on mouse up. Here it is on mouse up. Why we ha have to use this? Because um, it will take effect or it will be caught when you click your mouse. Okay, so that's why I say it is important. Then I did a trick. I create a, an animus function or some somebody may call it the lambda, lambda function. Uh, whatever. Um, it is a function that we can create inside of, of another function. So I create a, a function. What I did is exactly what I did in the in the on mouse move event function. Uh, first I we get the mouse event, then we get the x and the y coordinates, then we move my spirit. Yeah, uh, it is that simple. Uh, why I could use my spirit in here? It is because I used a symbol equal at there. So or lambda function could use the corners context, um, or could use his corners variables. Uh, whatever. In the end, if we run this, uh, if we run this game, uh, you will say it will still. Uh, print out the coordinate of our mouse at the console, but the ball will only move when I right click the or left click or mouse. As you can see here, I just uh, right click the, this stuff and the the ball will go with my mouse. So this is basically how we handle the uh, mouse movement at our game. This is a basic stuff, but it is very important. Um, and to be honest, how I found all those uh, uh, secret functions, oh, I didn't get it for reasons. I, I just did a lot of try and fail and a lot of things. I, I, almost was, I almost spent two or three hours on this stuff. And from the the from the official API document to the CPP uh, reference.com. So I, I did a lot of research to get it to work. Um, one thing I have learned from this experience is that uh, you basically cannot find anything useful about C++ from the uh, over stack flow or some kind of question and answer website. You you cannot get that. The, uh, the the only place that you would get useful stuff is is from the the library API document and the official CPP reference definitions. This this these two are the fundamental sources that you can get from the network. That's the only thing that you can really on, especially the the labs API document that you are using. Okay, no, nobody will answer your questions. Nobody would do that because it's just too much. Uh, you, so you have to uh, check it out by yourself. Okay, that's uh, today's video. I'll put the, the process I make this uh, in a very fast speed, let's say uh, 100 times <laughs> at the end of this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Okay. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.